Matt warmed us up a <laughs> warmed us a, a hot dog on the wood stove. These are really good hot dogs. We got them yesterday at Adams Farm. Adams <laughs> Farm in Murphy. Used to be Styles' farm if anybody is familiar with that. And they're good. They're mm -hmm. beef. They're really good. They're really, really good. Probably best hot dog I ever had. They're really good. Got some kefir water. We don't have no hot chocolate today. Hot chocolate. I guess it would go okay with a hot dog, but maybe not. Might be a little funky. Might be a little different. So, and of course, some potato chips. It's funny. People, it seems like in another video when we had hot dogs, somebody was really shocked at what we put on them. But I know that in different parts of the country, people put different things on it. I, I like hot dogs, but I really don't want it if I don't have slaw to put on it. I, <laughs> slaw is my favorite part of it. I know a lot of places put kraut on it. Mm -hmm. What else was it people thought? Oh, they thought it was strange that we put ketchup on it. I put mayonnaise on mine. Max puts mayonnaise on his, even though he puts a little slaw. So you'll have to share what you put on your hot dogs if you eat hot dogs. Some people don't like them, but... I like these beef hot dogs. If I'm going to have a hot dog, I guess I'd rather have a beef hot dog. And these are so big. They were way longer than the bun, but also so big and round that we sliced them in half. Yeah. Still plenty, plenty mm -hmm. of hot dogs. They were actually really big hot dogs. <coughs> They're really, really good. It was a pack of five, but it's really more like a pack of ten, because you could <laughs> slice them in half. Them in you half, really yeah. would. got kefir water I said me and Matt but Katie I see's got Adam's L we learned that right mm -hmm. Adam's L water got water this is good very good well, we want to go out our plan was I had to get groceries this morning. Matt had some other stuff he had to do. Him and Katie both were in a cleaning mood. They started going through stuff while I was gone. And then we were, needed to get wood in, but it started raining on us, so. Mm -hmm. We said, well, we might as well just eat dinner then. Kind of looks like the rain may have quit now, Matt, though. I don't know. It's windy. Windy. I don't think so. It's going to rain. Rain all day. Today coming back probably okay that was good thank you it is work time i actually have a pair of earrings that need to go out today so i should go make those oh. so working on you. speaking of work are you working on anything special on your bench um not exactly i mean i have just some orders that i need to get done i did make some pairs of earrings out of this special stone that i ordered so i did finally finish those i was excited about them I ordered three different matching pairs for earrings, and I thought I would just make one at a time, but I just made them all because <laughs> I was excited. So I was like, I think I'll just make all these into earrings right now. Well, that's nice. So that'll be fun. I'll get those finished up and added. Katie is amaz amazes me. All everything she does, of course, I'm her mother. I think everything she does is amazing, but with her jewelry stuff. But she amazes me. Sometimes she'll be like feeling overwhelmed, like she's got all this stuff and she's got these orders, you know, but she feels behind. And I say, it'll be okay. You always get it done. And she'll just be like, you know, carrying on to where I think this is it. She's really not going to get it done this time. And then she'll literally come down here and like hyper focus for like three hours and then come back upstairs and be like, okay, it's all done. I'm like, I thought you meant like you had weeks of work. No, I just... You can't focus. <laughs> well, but when you do focus, that's what amazes me is how much you can get done. You've done it for a long time now, though, so it's kind of second nature. I could probably do a whole week's work in two days if I would just do it. Mm -hmm. My brain don't always work like that. Sometimes I'm distracted or got other stuff to do, tired, don't feel like doing mm -hmm. it. But once I actually commit to doing it, then I'm pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Just because I've done it so much now, I don't have to really think about it. When you get in the zone. Yeah. Get in the Keddie zone. 
Sometimes it takes a while to get in the zone. And uh, to be 100% honest, I spend a whole lot of time playing with a cat now instead of working. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. I'm like, I could get a lot done if I would stop throwing these toys to this cat. Well, we'll let you get back to work. Thanks for eating with us. No, thank you for cooking me a hot dog. Well, thank your daddy. He cooked it. Thanks for cooking we, my hot dog. We actually dog. tried them out yesterday for our dinner, so we already had the slaw and stuff made, so that was easy. Thank you. I said we could put some onions on it, but Katie said her heartburn was already bad, so she didn't want no onions. It's pretty infernal. That, which, <clears throat> it'll be infernal no matter what, but there's certain things that'll just only make it worse, and that's one of them. Mm -hmm. However, though, I usually like to eat onions on my hot dog. But I didn't do it this time. I didn't do it yesterday either. Mm. Out of fear. Yeah. <laughs> Out of fear. I never had heartburn in my entire life until I was pregnant with Corey and Katie. And then I had it so bad. I was told, and Matt did suffer with it. I was like, I mean, ever since I've known Matt, he had heartburn. And I was like, how do you live? How do you live? And then the day I had Corey and Katie, I never had it again. It's pretty miserable. Yeah. Which I've had it before. You so. and Corey both had it, yeah. I mean, both of you have had it. Get it from your, get that from your daddy. Yeah, if I just eat the wrong thing or the wrong thing too many days in a row. Mm -hmm. um, but this is just, I'm running out of room. That's why I've Yeah, heartburn. that's why I'm being pregnant. Yeah. It's worse heartburn, though, to be honest. It's like heartburn on steroids compared to what I've had before. But that's okay. It's just part of it. I'm not the only one. Mm -hmm. There'll be plenty of people who say the same thing. And it will improve after you, you have Probably a go little away. bit. Or at least get better. I'm like, even if it didn't go away, if it just got better, I'd take that. <laughs> it will. It'll get better. I would take that. All right, then. All right. Thanks. See ya. See ya. You're just going right over there, but yeah. see ya. <laughs> I'm not going far. Matt, you want to get off the bucket and be more comfortable? You afraid to sit by me? Come on, Binky. No. Get off my of that. Come on. Come on, He'll probably jump up here and attack me in a minute. Mm -hmm. Basement Puma. Mm -hmm. So Matt wanted to get some wood in just because it's, of course, winter time and all that, but also because of the Arctic air that's coming. It's supposed to get really cold this yeah, week. Should have got it in early this morning so it wouldn't get rained on. But we we'll make it work. <clears throat> Always do. It's supposed to be really cold, up, I guess, all week, huh? I ain't for sure. I know I saw Tuesday night supposed to be like four degrees mm -hmm. here, so that's somewhat colder than we're than normal. Yeah, be colder than we've had this year so far, I guess. Yeah, last year when it done this, everybody's water froze. Yeah, it's not this Christmas that we just had, but the Christmas before that, it got really cold, and lots of people's, it was the coldest it had been in a, quite a few years, I guess, and a lot yeah. of people's water froze. We spent two weeks straight at work fixing busted plumbing all over the county, and my goodness, I was glad to get done with all that. It was, it was still cold, you know, while we were working mm -hmm. on it, it just wasn't as cold, but there was a lot of stuff busted. You had to work on Corey and Austin's, which thankfully turned out not to be frozen. It was just at the well. It was frozen. It just hadn't busted. It yeah. was just uh, the little pipe that the pressure switch is on was, had ice in it, and the pressure switch couldn't communicate with the pump. And I thawed that out, and it went back went to working. Went back to working, mm -hmm. yeah. The hard part of it was finding the well, if you can imagine that. Yeah. Because we didn't know where the well was. It was a was. shared well. Uh, where they live, they share it with other people. And then the people, the people whose property the well was actually on were out of town, not here for the winter, and it was behind a lock gate, and it was way around the mountain, so we had a, it was a half a day finding it, but yeah. we finally did. Yeah. It looks like it might be that cold again yeah, this week. it looks like it. I wish there'd be some snow with it. So far, uh, everybody keeps, I've had emails and messages like, it's snowing, right, Tipper? Not yet. We had like, what morning was that? There was like a skiff of snow, and that's yes. all we've had. Three or four mornings. And ago. it was just barely on the edges of the porch and the mm -hmm. trees, and then by lunchtime or dinner time, it was gone. So that was all, that's all we had so far. Wasn't much. No. Hopefully we'll get more. 
before winter's over anyway. Yeah, at least one good one. I remember uh, it's all old people, and now I'm one of them, saying, saying, I remember when I was young, it done this, it smoked, snowed more, and it was colder and all that. But in the late 70s, it was bitter cold for a long time. For a month. Yeah. Straight. And I remember we had gravity <clears throat> water, Pap and Granny did, and which means that our water come from a spring up the creek, and in places Pap had it buried where he could bury it, but there's lots of places you couldn't bury it, I mean, unless you had a trencher to go up mm. through the woods with. So it, it just laid on top of the ground. And on those any cold night, he would leave the water running in the kitchen and maybe a little bit in the bathroom, and that would often keep it from moving water, you know, keep it from freezing. But that winter, it just seemed like it stayed frozen mm -hmm. all the time. And it's just a constant battle of he, he'd go along and find where, you know, places it was frozen, build a little fire and warm it up, and he could uncouple the pipes and... He would blow them out, you know, just with his mouth, and ice would come out of them. Me and Paul thought that was the greatest. We thought that was like, you know, ice popsicles there, ready made. Mm. Um, and of course, we liked playing in the uh, cold and the snow and the fires that he built, playing in those little fires. But that was a cold, cold winter. Yeah, we were, I don't know how about y'all were, we were out of school for like 30 or 31 days straight because of. Right before that big cold smell, cold spell, it come a big snow. Yeah. And then it, that really, really cold air blew in here, and the snow stayed on the ground for a month. And wind blew, and my goodness, it was yeah. cold. And we, we were, um, we were out of school for a month, and I loved that. I remember um, we probably wasn't out as much as y'all were, but I remember being out in those days when we missed school. We would go on Saturdays. You remember yeah. that? I don't. You ever. had to have done that too. I'm, I guarantee you I didn't do it. Well, you probably well, didn't do it. I might was it, supposed but, to have, but no, yeah. I never did that. And, and basically we watched like, it, we'd have movies in those days, film strips like the film strips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't hardly go to school on the days it wasn't Saturday. Yeah, you didn't want to go, did you? My goodness, I hated it. I'd lay out, I'd hide, run. Um, in that, sa like. that same time that Matt's talking about, I remember Daddy, uh, he drove like, um, drove all kinds of trucks, but like tankers too. And him say, telling about that over um, near Gainesville, like on one of the bridges, there was something that had ruptured. And then once it started spraying, it, of course, just kept building up ice, yeah. ice, ice, ice. And he, him telling us about that. And I think they had to, I don't remember if they got machinery or had to blow it up or something to finally get it gone. Because it was impeding traffic, of course. Yeah. So, um, for all you people that have really cold temperatures and are laughing at us, it doesn't usually get that cold here, but every once in a while it does. Sometimes it does, but not well, often. A lot of winters will have one one cold spell that's this cold. Mm -hmm. Some winters we don't, yeah. but we generally don't. Have, if we do have one, it's never usually more than one. It'll just uh, Arctic air dips this low. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times we'll have teens and twenties for many days, but never down in the single digits or zero much, just right. once in a while. So I guess our average low temps in the winter is like upper 20s, lower 30s, something like that. Upper yeah. 20s. Uh, 20 degrees to mid 20s or yeah. so usually. For the low, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. Well, not as cold as a lot of you have to deal with, we know. We haven't made any uh, progress outside like turning over the gardens like we were trying to do but we did get to meet with Thomas about our our big plan if you've watched our video of the uh, what we hope to happen in 2024 with the big garden perhaps big garden and the corn we did get to meet with Thomas and make a plan about which trees need to be took down for to allow more sunshine so that's at least a little bit of progress got that in the works and when he can get to it he's going to do it and mm -hmm. we'll see what that does and as it goes along there may be more that gets took down it's just what it looks like once he gets started we'll we'll just kind of mm -hmm. see as we go along yeah so works that was exciting i was glad i didn't know what kind of schedule of work he had going on but looks like he'll be able to get to it pretty quick so that'll be be good for me and matt mm -hmm. And a lot of people mentioned about the peach trees that, you know, it was sad to, and they hated we shouldn't cut them down and um, we could grow corn around them. I'm not sure. It's not that giant of a place, so it wouldn't really work like tilling around the trees. You'd be tilling into their roots. 
But the other thing is, of course, in the end, it comes down to corn or peaches. Which do you, which would you rather have? And for us, it's corn. But because of the uh, area we live in, even though it don't get those bitter cold, like Matt was saying, even those uh, 20s and low 20s, which of course is below freezing, those can happen, and they usually do, in after we've had a real warm up in the in early spring. And then what that causes is trees like peaches that bloom out early. They get bit and they don't really produce. And it's so, almost every year yeah, they will bloom much. and then get frostbit and then there's nothing. Yeah. And it's just year after year usually that way. And our apple trees are that way a lot too. Yeah, all of the yeah you know, the ones we have. So <clears throat> so those are iffy iffy if you're going to get something anyway. Peaches in our area. There's like a white peach that does better than the like more yellow ones. And some of those may be white peaches, but still there's just there's just so many springs that it, it warms up and you're like, winter's gone, mm -hmm. great, I'm going to do everything, and then you have a hard freeze. Yeah, we've had hard freezes in the first part of May yeah. lots of times. Yeah, and we had a really severe one a couple of years ago right. that just got killed about everything. Yeah. yeah. And then multiple frosts in April every year. Yeah. So then there'll be a warm spell prior to that and stuff will begin to bloom and then it, it just gets good every time. Yeah. So anyway, we're thinking about uh, if we can save a few of them, where to put them, and uh, he can easily move them with his machinery, but we won't be able to keep all of them. And uh, again, basically, at the end of the day, it comes down to what do you want to spend your time and energy on growing, and for us, it'd definitely be corn over mm -hmm. peaches that might or might not make, but even if they did make every year, I would still say corn all day long. Probably put a big long row or two of potatoes down there too. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to grow some sweet potatoes. I would love to grow some. I get excited even thinking about it. Some of the white mm -hmm. sweet potatoes. Those are my favorite. I scared over. If you're going to get excited, you may smack me. <laughs> I might. I might start. Uh, but the white sweet potatoes would definitely, I would love to find some of them and plant them down there. Mm -hmm. I don't think Green and Pap ever grew them. Um, Pap used to get, I think it was Clyde Ash that used to grow sweet potatoes, and Pap would get some of both from him. Uh, they preferred those white ones too, and I hadn't seen them in ages. Uh, truthfully, I probably hadn't even thought about them in ages. And then a few years ago, I saw them at Peachtree Produce uh, one day when I was down there. I was like, oh my goodness, and I got them, and I prefer them over the orange ones. Anyway, I like to grow some of them, and some sweet potatoes too, maybe. But at least you're right, one big long row of potatoes. Yeah. That would yeah, be nice. Be nice. Well, we used to grow all that down there years ago. It's just been been a long time. Several it's been going on. When's the last time we grew down there? Well, the year Daddy died in two thousand sixteen and we did not grow a garden that year because Did we grow one the year I mean before? we didn't no, we didn't the year before. He died in April, so we couldn't have wouldn't have really got started much, but we didn't the year before because he had he fell and uh, broke his hip and all That's that, right. remember, so we didn't. So it's been almost, 10 years. Almost 10 been years, four, yeah. 2014 would have yeah. been the last garden. Yeah, so it's been a long time. Uh, when we did used to garden down there with Pap and Granny, Pap and Matt would have it all laid out exactly how they wanted it and planned, and then Granny would go back and and do some extra planting <laughs> in places. So I'm trying to remind myself of that because like while we're talking, I'm even thinking like... Yeah, I'm a little worried about you doing I'm, it. I, well, I am too because I'm thinking like, you know, watermelons, they might really do good down there. So yeah, I'm going to have to rein it in. Granny was really bad to do that. Yeah, Katie's listening to us. She said, Granny was really bad to do that. She she'd was. Go, she'd always go in there and plant uh, cornfield, uh, beans. cornfield yeah. beans in amongst the corn. And we didn't know she'd done it until you'd start seeing the vines run, and then by then you couldn't get in there and keep the corn weeded, and it just turned into a jungle. Yeah. Oh, it was bad. Yeah. yeah it was. I mean, it was even hard to get in there and, and let, let alone tilling or hoeing. You couldn't even get in there to pull ears of corn. Hard yeah, had to was, cut your way in. It was pretty bad. Anyway, very exciting. Me yeah. and Matt are excited about that, and glad we got to talk to Thomas, and that he's he's got got room for us in his schedule. So. Those are really exciting. Might get a little firewood out of that too. We might, yeah. Because there's a couple of two or three oaks in that. I will yeah. save those uh, out and cut them. Some of it probably won't be for that. Although I forgot to tell you, I mean, some of it you wouldn't, it's stuff we wouldn't burn, right. is what I meant. I forgot to tell you that Paul, some one of Paul's friends, wants some of those smaller ones on our driveway. He has something he's going to do with them. Okay. So help me remember that. Of course, Paul 
now that he's here, or he's retired, he can just come down and tie and point out to Thomas which one's not to get rid of. We'll put him to work. Yeah, we might. I'm sure he's got a whole list of things he wants to do. And, and work ain't one of them. Yeah, work sure ain't one of them, probably. No. So, yeah. He was telling me some funny jokes this morning. I went and got Granny's groceries for her and, and got our groceries. And while I was getting groceries, I was thinking about, I don't know why, it just all of a sudden struck me. I told Matt when we got home, I was like, you know, my, our whole life of me being married, I mean, of us being married, me getting groceries has revolved around our family, like it's been a family effort, kind of. Of course, you know, if you have kids in the beginning, you take your kids with you. I remember I, when I was so excited when I found out Bilo had a little buggy that had two little seats behind the basket, behind the buggy area that Corey and Caddy could fit in. So, of course, they went with me for years. But then when, um, I don't know, how old was Granny? I don't know. Corey, it was about, kind of about the time Corey and Caddy started school, I guess, because I was keeping Alex then, a little, little boy that we kept for a long time. And she quit driving, Granny did. She got nervous, and one of her closest friends got killed in a car wreck. A drunk driver hit her, and it's just this really sad situation. And anyway, after that, she didn't drive anymore, so then somebody had to take her. And I guess at that time, Pap was still kind of working a little, at mm -hmm. least. Anyway, so she just, of course, started going with me to get groceries. And this was in the days when I cleaned houses and babysat Alex so I didn't have a, a job like at the folk school or the college where I had to be that. So she went with me for years. I just, she went with me. I took her, she would get my groceries, she'd get her groceries. And um, in those days, Alex, when before he went to school, he would go with us, of course. We'd usually take Corey and Katie to school, drop them off, then me and Granny and Alex would go get groceries. And Granny could never finish before I did. You know, she was always slower than me. And me and Alex would end up sitting in the car waiting on her. And uh, I made up a little song me and him would sing, like, Granny, Granny, you better come on, because me and Alex, we want to go home. <laughs> anyway, that was really treasured times, uh, though, when I look back at it, spending all that extra time with Granny. And then, you know, at some point, um, then I guess she, I don't, I guess then I started, when I started working full time, then I couldn't get them during the week, but I would get them on the weekend, so she'd go with me then. But then at some point, she, you know, got to where she just didn't feel like going anymore. So I started getting her groceries, so I've got them for years. I get my groceries and I get hers too. Well, when, uh, and of course, during that time in the summers and all that, who went with me, Corey and Katie, you know, it was always about that. Um, always seemed like there was always somebody going with me. But even after Alex had went to school and, and you know, then in the summers, Corey and Caddy definitely go with me. But uh, probably it was before the pandemic and all that, but our local Walmart finally started offering the grocery pickup. And mm -hmm. immediately I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to make my life so much easier because I could get mine and Granny's, you know. There for a while I was getting mine and Granny's and Miss Cindy's, but I could do it all, you know, and not have to be all over the store and, and have two buggies, like trying to push two buggies. Anyway, that was great, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, all that to say, then now, <laughs> Corey, you know, her and Austin married and, uh, well, she's not going with me, but we usually meet up. We go on the same at the same time so we can meet up and... Uh, go in the store together so it's really sweet this morning then we you know walk out together and uh, stand in the parking lot and talk a minute and then she gets in the car and leaves and you know we're like the typical uh, like we're the southern thing like okay now bye yeah. I'll see you after a while yeah. I love you now bye be careful now <laughs> All that. but this morning I just thought that's just it's just really sweet all my you know, and grocery, getting groceries is a pain. I don't like it. I don't, it's not something I enjoy. But then I thought, but all my life, basically, my married life, it is sweet that it's been connected to family. And, mm -hmm. you know, just one more, um, we're so blessed to have a really close family. And that's just one more, I guess, testament to it or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that even now, me and Corey would meet. And, and Katie goes sometimes, too. She'll get up and go sometimes. But uh, Corey has to go, and I have to go. So Katie don't always have to. But we'll we'll meet meet up and and go together. Yeah, and then one day she'll be bringing yours. And yeah, be at maybe kind of like it is like now. Like with, with Granny, they may be bringing mine. Yeah, that's true. You'll be sitting up there with your crochet. I don't know how to crochet though. I'll have well, to get probably, on that. You'll probably learn. 
And I'll be sitting up there with my calendar trying to figure out what month it is. <laughs> and she'll come in and say, well, you've got, I've got your groceries. And is that when I'll say, your daddy's on the roof. He's trying to do something. <laughs> Would you go tell him to get off? Get him off there. <laughs> oh, sweet. I don't like to get groceries, but this morning that made me give me kind of an alternate look at it. I mm -hmm. thought, you know, it's been a pain to get groceries my whole life, my whole married life. But look what a blessing, too, to be able yeah. to all those years of going with granny and then that I was able to help granny and you know then now that uh, Corey's going with me and of course even before that when Corey and Katie was little and they went with me that was fun we didn't hardly go anywhere so that was a big out and for them to get to go to town once a week to get groceries yeah yep. it is funny how everybody uh, does things like that different like I usually go once a week I know there's people that don't go but once a month or once every two weeks and then there, there's people that go about every day or two. They just mm -hmm. stop by, just get a little, a few things at a time, what they need. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah a lot of people do that. Daddy does that. Mm -hmm. About every day he goes to town for something, and I'm just the opposite. I mean, there's days and days that I don't ever leave here. Yeah. And yeah. as many of them as I can get strung together is how I like to do it. Yeah, and I could we could probably manage where I didn't go every week either, but it's, okay. I guess it's a habit, and then helping Granny what she needs, whether she needs medicine or something right. like that. Right. But, but yeah, we could probably get to where we didn't go that much. And there are some people that don't go, but like once a month, then there's some people that don't hardly go at all because they're self-sufficient mm -hmm. enough. You know, they don't need anything. I've had people ask me, like, are you totally self-sufficient? We're not because we, we don't have any animals, you know, we don't have raise our own meat, we don't have any dairy, and we drink milk and eat cheese, and, mm -hmm. you know, we do have our eggs, our chickens, but we, I, just, we grow our garden. But, we just supplement what we buy with what we grow. Yeah, yeah, so we're definitely and not And what we kill. <laughs> yeah, and what Matt kills, right. but, but there are people that are really self-sufficient enough to barely, to be like the old days of just needing, like, coffee and sugar and things that you can't really... Right. I mean, if you're totally, make yourself to be totally and completely 100 percent self-sufficient it's a major job i mean it, and it's a long hours of seven days yeah. a week job it'd be great though i'd love yeah, it yeah i'd like to be set up where we can do that but we're not but we're not no no but it's a tremendous amount yeah, of work tremendous amount yeah by the time we get to where we can do that we'd be too old to do it yeah Maybe we can direct. That'd be cool. I always wanted to be a boss. You are a boss now. No, I'm not. Here you are. I'm an underboss. No, I think you're a boss. I'm like a capo in the mafia. Oh, well, I don't even know what that means. Well, I'm, that means I'm you're the you're the main boss, and I'm just under you. Oh. So I still have to answer to you. I don't think so. Oh. It's the way it looks from over here. I was asking Matt about uh, when I was sharing with this morning with him about the groceries. I said, so what did y'all go get groceries once a week? Like Granny always went once a week too. And that's funny. It's, when I was growing up, it's funny how because of what your parents do, that's sometimes what you end up doing. You know, the old story about the lady that cut off the end of the ham and somebody finally said well why do you do that and she said well because my mama always done that and then come to find out it was her mama did it to fit in the pan not because that's how you cook to ham or something you know yeah. so we do we are creatures or i am especially creatures of habit so yeah. that's probably why I, again another reason i go every week but anyway i was asking matt i was like so when did y'all go did you go like once a week what did you go and he said i said i have no clue where the i don't even remember where the groceries came from yeah i don't remember yeah yeah I, mean, I knew where the grocery store was, but I don't have any recollection of us. This it was wasn't grocery like a day, weekly right, and we a went weekly and got day. groceries. And I don't remember going in there and with a list and a buggy, and I don't remember none of that. Mm -hmm. I don't think we did that. Daddy may have, but I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I wasn't ever there. I guess he just handled it, and you used too busy running through the woods playing. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. It's so amazing when you. Uh, people also ask about the grocery stores like where we're at. We have an Ingalls. We, of course, we have a Walmart, like a super Walmart. So there's a grocery store in that. We have um, United Grocery, Save a Lot. What else do we have? What have I left out? Is that all? There's an Aldi's in Blairsville. Yeah, in Blairsville, but in Murphy, thinking about. Mm -hmm. But I can remember when um, 
when I was a girl and Granny was going grocery shopping, there was still an Angles. It was in a different place. It was where Save a Lot is mm -hmm. now. And that was where Sky City was. So mm -hmm. that was like the only shopping center. Right. Um, and then there was like Howell's Market in town. There was A&P. That's been long gone. It was where the professional black building is mm -hmm. now. Anyway, so many changes now. At one time, Murphy had a food line, but that didn't last like a... I never went in it. It was barely lasted any. Yeah, they just got it put up and got it going good, and then it shut down. Yeah, and it was when in. they had some kind of scandal about their meat or something. Yeah, I, I don't know, some kind of something corporate and wasn't the one in Murphy that, and it just immediately like opened and closed. I never mm -hmm. even stepped foot in it. So, lots of different, different options these days. Yeah. And I don't like all of them, but I do like the grocery pickup. That is pretty nice. Yeah, I do like that. I was like, as soon as I found out about that, I was like, that's give me two hours of my life back every week. Anyway, that's a lot of talking about the grocery store, but I just wanted to share those thoughts. I was really thinking this morning about how blessed I'd been to have my groceries connected to my family and just another example of our, our close family that we're so blessed with. And I know people don't have that and can't do nothing about it. It's not anything on their part. I sure wish everybody in the whole world had a, had a close family. But we hope that in the comments you can you leave us a comment. Are you one of those people like us that go once a week? Or maybe you go once a month? Or maybe you're like Papa Tony and you go every day? Uh, share your, your grocery store thoughts with us. We're always glad when you stop by to help us celebrate Appalachia. I guess today in this video we might say, well, what in the world was you celebrating? Well, I guess it would be family. Um, the culture of Appalachia is very family oriented and from you know Katie being able to eat with us me and Matt and Katie being here together to all the grocery store uh, memories that I share, shared it's that's just one of the most important parts of uh, I think of the culture of Appalachia mm -hmm. is the family and we're glad that you're part of our family too. Katie, did your chain come? My wire came, yeah. Or wire? Is it raining? Huh? Is it raining? Kind of like doing this weird sleet thing. Sleeting? Hmm. Wish it would turn into snow. I wish I figured out what my problem is about snow. I'm wanting snow, and as bad as I'm wanting it, Granny's not wanting it. She's canceling me out. Think so? I think so. She's like, Lord, I hope it don't. It's gonna snow all week and be cold. Paul said, no, I don't think there's nothing about snow. I said, no, I think it's just going to be real cold. Lord, we won't be able to get out. And I'm thinking, well, where do you get out anyway, Granny? <laughs> where are you going? Uh, anyway, she's she's canceling out my my wishes for snow. She's wishing against me. Maybe you ought to be wishing for 85, 90 degrees. Maybe, yeah. And then, then you're, Maybe. Uh, you'd feel better Maybe. about things. Maybe I'd, I'd use reverse psychology yeah. on, the na on nature. Yeah. I wish it'd be 85 and sunny all winter. Mm. I couldn't hardly do that, though. I couldn't say that because I don't wish it. I love it all. Even if it don't snow, I love the cold. I love being able to sit by this fire. Mm -hmm. So, I can't do that. Is this enough wood to do us through the cold spell? or No. I'm going to have to get some in probably tomorrow or Sunday one. I mean, it's not going to get brutally cold till next week. Mm, okay, well, maybe we can do that tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I kind of was planning. Since I didn't do it this morning, I should have for the rain, but I didn't. You got busy cleaning. <clears throat> busy doing the domestic thing. Mm -hmm. Straightening up my clothes drawers. So you'll stop reminding me of it. I just knew there's you stuff. should go up there and open the doors. I will. I'm going to. I'm going to be impressed. I don't know. I just knew there's stuff you don't wear, and then you ain't got room for your so, uh, stuff you got for Christmas. I learned something on my my top drawer with all those little shirts in it that you're all the time saying you need to go through them. You need to yeah. go through them because you just have to cram them in there yeah. and you can't get the drawer shut. I took the drawer out and put it on the bed and started going through them, and what I discovered was about half of that's not my stuff. It's hair stuff. It's hair stuff. Yeah. It's Girl hair, and it's and it's all around the perimeter of the drawer, and where the, <laughs> where the uh, shirts go is right in the middle, and they're yeah. all wadded up in this big knot. You know why? Because that's where Corey and Katie used to stand to get their hair <clears throat> fixed when I would take them to school. I guess it's time to get rid of that stuff. That's been why. I remember one time, uh, you don't remember this, but it was so funny. 
we were going somewhere. I don't know. It wouldn't have been school, I don't think, but maybe like to dance or to something, wherever we was going. But Corey and Katie knew. They'd just come back there, and I'd braid it or put it up in a ponytail or do whatever. And uh, Alex was with us. He was just little bitty. And he was blonde, curly hair, you know. And, and we were moving around. And I was getting ready. And he, I just kept kind of running into him. And, and I just finally looked down at him, and he was just standing there like, he was his waiting turn. his turn, yeah, and I, I combed his hair, and then he <laughs> ran off. That's all he wanted. He knew. Yeah, he just stood there and let me comb yeah. his hair, and then he ran off down the hallway. He was just waiting his turn to get ready. <laughs> He's so cute. Those little curls. He didn't need no combing. His was just cute all the time. But, uh, he was a very well-mannered young Oh, he was. He was. But, yeah, I was just like, why am I keep bumping into Alex? And then I looked down at him. He was so little, and he's just standing there like he was yeah. waiting for his <laughs> turn to get his fixed. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but that's where Corey and Katie used to get to hire, hire dead every morning before school. <clears throat> I know that, but that's been some time ago. Yeah, it's been a long time. How long you been out of high school or out of school, out of elementary school, Katie? Um, probably I've been out of high school 10 years. 20 years ago, and I've still got all the hair bows. Yeah, close, probably 18 years ago. All the rubber bands and the, all that. Yeah. I guess I need to get rid of it. Well, I got rid of a bunch of the old stuff that's ratted out or don't fit or whatever and make room. Mm -hmm. And I acquired this today. Where'd you get that? Austin. Feel it, how thick it is. Oh, he give you this? Yeah. That's nice. It Ooh, it's furry on the inside. Yeah, it's got like, like Sherpa. fleece or whatever, yeah. yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I like that one a lot. Me too. He just didn't like it or it didn't fit? I don't know. It just, it was this and some other stuff that He's he sent over of. here and I kept it all. I think they've been going through their stuff too. Yeah, that's what we do. We go through stuff. And we give it to them, and then they give it back to, get to us. To get rid of stuff to make room, and then we just take in their stuff, and they take in our stuff, and nothing ever changes. <laughs> that's true. That and then there's more stuff comes actually on top of that, so we're actually gaining stuff by getting rid of stuff. Wow. You used to say that about you, me and your mama, that we just ferried stuff back and forth to each other. Yeah. We didn't. We had a method to our madness. Yeah, I can see it right here. <laughs> Well, come on, and you can show me those beautiful drawers. Okay. 